As I was reading through chapter 7 of The Giver today, there was a passage that stuck out to me, and I'm going to read it for you right now. Asher had asked for a smack. The disciplined wand in the hand of the childcare worker whistled as it came down across Asher's hands. Asher whimpered, cringed, and corrected himself instantly. Snack, he whispered. But the next morning he had done it again, and again the following week. He couldn't seem to stop, though for each lapse the discipline Juan came again, escalating to a series of painful lashes that left marks on Asher's legs. Eventually, for a period of time, Asher stopped talking altogether when he was a three. Now, there's nothing morally wrong with Asher mixing words up. However, this did make me think a little bit about myself and think about those around me. I think about Paul himself, uh, himself in the Bible. Uh, we all know the things that we're supposed to be doing, and then we find ourselves doing it. We get up in the morning, we say, well, I'm, I'm going to be much better today. You know, I'm not going to look at that thing. I'm not going to think that thing. I'm not going to do that thing. And then we do it. And this is not unique. It's because of the sin nature that's in us. In fact, Paul in Romans 7 and 8 says the same thing. He says, the things I want to do, I don't do. And the things I don't want to do, I do. And he says, who can save me for them this? But he gives us an answer too. He says that it's Jesus. He says that the reason that we're doing these bad things is not because of the law. It's because we have a sin nature. But he gives us a solution. And that's Jesus. He says uh, that the first step is to walk by the Spirit, not by the flesh. The flesh is those things in us that come natural to us. When we put ourselves first, we do what the world tells us to do. The Spirit is listening to God. The second part is to not have our minds on things in the world, to have things on the flesh, instead to have our minds on the things of the Spirit. And the last thing I think is the thing that's most effective. It's to realize this isn't a battle that's just our own. This is a battle that we fight with God because the Holy Spirit is who lives in us, which means that even though I may not be perfect yet, I have someone who's helping me to become more and more like him if I rely on him. And that's some good news.